We've got to use a strategy that engages all sectors of government. Ronald, I'm going to, where's Ronald? I'm here. I'm going to agree with you that we work through processes of, of, of parliament, for example. If we need to do party politics, we do that. But it should not be the sum total of what constitutes the, 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 the revolution, so to speak. Because we're overthrowing the system. And I'm going to use this word in a way, in an all-encompassing way that does not mean revolution is <coughs> taking out a gun and shooting someone. That's murder, not revolution. Revolution is an idea. Before you take out a gun, before a gun gets fired, there's an idea. And revolution is an idea. So we've got to have a unification of the oppressed to go against the system that oppresses us. The system that oppresses us has no color. It uses color to oppress us and divide us. When we say, for example, people are saying, let's get a vehicle. We propose a vehicle. We propose a vehicle called the Democratic uh, Federation of Khoisan People. Now, when we talk about a vehicle like that, it's an all-inclusive vehicle that looks at equality across the board, but at the same time is revolutionary in its thought, is revolutionary in its approach, and is anti-capital in terms of where it locates itself in the paradigm of capitalism. Capitalism is never our friend. It was never our friend, and it will never be our friend. Will only be commodities within it. And that we must recognize. When we talk about here the roles of the bank, when we say capital, we start from the reserve bank. Not only the EPSA, we talk about the reserve bank down. We've got to change the system. EPSA took 28 billion rands that it was that it was supposed to give to the country and it used that money internally to give it its shareholders and give its uh, directors. But it never gave the people back their money and 28 billion rand could have built schools, could have built hospitals, could have taken down Cape Flats and replaced it with something better. So we must understand who, who are the thieves and the nature of the theft. <coughs> then we've got to look at, for example, the land as collateral. We cannot look at these trusts because, like I was saying, I got co-opted into a trust by the Narek. I'm not on the trust, but they said, no, you'll fit into a committee because they know I'm problematic. I normally get into trusts or any such institution for two weeks. I haven't lasted longer than two weeks. <laughs> because I don't take the nonsense that, they, that, they, that they're handing out. I don't believe in shenanigans. If something is not correct, believe me, I'll put it straight. Like me, don't like me, I'll put it straight. Or I cannot live with myself and I go to sleep peacefully, you can fight with me, I'll go to sleep, I know I've done what is right. Okay, the boss, this is what I'm talking about, capture. Somewhere there's a good person out there. Identify yourself, please. People, we need a boycott. But anyway, let me stop it there, okay. and uh, I think the points will be covered later or Thank tomorrow. You. Right. Okay. Thank you very much, Mr. Rasul. Let's give Rasul another good round of applause.